This model is watching what she eats. And so are her fans. Snack this for you. 22 year old Caitlin Finley is an online supersized sensation who specializes in a fetish known as feeding. I can eat three meat lover pizzas, four double cheeseburgers, order two of fries, a liter or two of soda, and two to three milkshakes normally in one sitting. And she's got an unlikely ally when it comes to making it big, her mum. My favorite one's this one, her stance. It's like, look at me, I'm big, I'm beautiful. I got the boobs, I got the butt, and the belly. <laughs> it makes me smile when I see the photographs. Um, I think she's beautiful and I love it. She does a great job. Caitlin wasn't always so comfortable in her own skin. As a child, she was bullied for being big. I would be pushed down the stairs. I had food thrown at me. They would go out of their way to write, like, fat pig on my desk before I came in. Desperate to fit in, Caitlin went on a crash diet and kept the bulge at bay for more than a year, but she still wasn't happy. I actually felt worse when I was thinner because I felt like I had betrayed myself. In myself, I am a big person, and being thin, I felt like I was faking who I am to fit in, and it didn't feel right. Then she stumbled on a group of morbidly obese women who called themselves Supersized Big Beautiful Women, or SSBBWs for short. I forget who it was, but it was a big, beautiful woman. She was like 600 pounds, and she just looked like a goddess. I came out of high school and immediately started doing webcam work. Now Caitlin, or Calico Bombshell as she's known to her legion of fans, will gorge on up to 10,000 calories in one sitting. The most unusual food requests I get are things like vanilla pudding and mayonnaise mixed together, eaten with a spoon. I've been asked to drink uh, bacon grease or eat just bacon fat. Uh, yeah. Um, for me, it's if something is greasy, it, it's more erotic than anything. Um, being able to bite into something, like just drinking a milkshake or something isn't erotic for me, but biting into a burger or a pizza, that's erotic. Or if it's covered in cheese. Caitlin was worried about what her conservative parents would think of her career choice. But her mum has become her biggest fan and even acts as her photographer. I love that one. I love I that one. I do like that one. That was I like this cute. One. I'm her mother, and and I feel that's what I should do. Um, she loves it, so and I love her, so that makes it all worth it. When my mom says she's proud of me, it it makes me emotional because I feel like I feel like I've accomplished more than making money. Oh, I love you. <laughs> her friends are also supportive. I think it's wonderful. She's being a role model for girls who are plus size and showing everybody that you don't have to fit in a size zero just to be awesome. Caitlin, who is a dress size 24 and has a whopping BMI of 80, has a message to people who think she's killing herself. I say, you haven't seen my doctor. I have perfect health. I just went yesterday. <laughs> my blood pressure is actually athletic perfection. So I'm not going to say that eating three pizzas, four burgers, fries, and a Frosty is going to, you know, make you live to be 100, but if that's what makes you happy, whatever, you know? For now, Caitlin has set herself a target of hitting 500 pounds by the time she's 30, when she'll have a BMI of over 100. My long-term goal is to be as big as, as physically possible without being bed-bound. And with Mum's help, she hopes to become one of the most successful SSBBWs in history. 
Having my mom support me means everything to me. It, it makes me feel like, like I've succeeded more than if I would have made more money or if I would have gotten famous right off the bat. I'm proud of her for following her goals, for doing what she wants to do, not what other people think she should do.